Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, we've got Alpha Radagast playing the Cracciolo. It's a tier 7 Italian battleship. This is, uh, well, this is some interesting matchmaking. you got a CV on either team. Um, obviously, this is, uh, this is not a random match. Always interesting. Provides opportunities. Uh, ships that may not uh, shine in other game modes. Well, a, a great example. Gneisenau is kind of a brawler. Guns hit hard, but if you get any distance from the target and trying to land the shells is, well, very tough. But, you know, put it in a setting like this, Gneisenau can really, really be a, really be a great ship. Uh, so anyway, so we've got um, Ranger on the enemy team, Ryujo on this team. DD threats, well, you got the Sims. Um, I think, in my opinion, more of a gunboat. Uh, the torpedoes, are, they move at the speed of smell. Uh, they hit reasonably hard, not horribly hard, but reasonably hard, but they're really, really slow. Now, that that's not good if you're trying to scare somebody out of an area and they know you're there or they have some idea that you're there, but they can surprise people because, you know, you'll see the Sims and, and then it'll go dark and you'll think, okay... After a certain period of time, if there were torpedoes, they should be here by now, if you're not familiar with the ship. And, you know, then another 30, 40 seconds rolls by, and then the torpedoes pop up, and maybe you've turned broadside thinking there was no way they were coming. So anyway, uh, got radar on both teams. Got Atlanta on the friendly team, Belfast on the uh, on the, the enemy team, the bad guys. Uh, Caracciolo with AP can do a lot of damage to Belfast if it hits. Looks like that was a swing and a miss, but Belfast pops back up, and it looks like Alf has decided to focus that Belfast, and I think that's probably a good idea. It is not inconceivable that the Caracciolo could uh, just completely devastate the Belfast if you land a couple citadels, and at this range, if the Belfast does pop up, that is that is possible, and we'll see. Belfast looks like he's going to try and smoke up. That looks pretty good. I think it's going to go right through the cheek. Maybe right through the nose. Well, uh, two shells, one overpen, and one citadel. And I imagine that the Belfast... Well, yeah, he's, not, he's radared now. Looks like the Atlanta has radared and lit him up. So he's not going to sit there. Hopefully Alf is accelerating. Now he's slowing down. If he were accelerating, he'd give himself a little bit more time to get the shot off. I think Belfast, even with broken engines, is going to be able to get around that corner. And that shot looks a little high. Yeah, we got uh, two overpens, a couple shells went over. Belfast is in trouble, though, and he's uh, close enough to the island now where it's going to be difficult for him to get shots off. So the threat he represents is radar. He's, you know, he can light up the Shiratsuyu and the Haida. Haida has uh, secured the Charlie cap. Shiratsuyu is... Well, he made a try at A, but um, I, I'm guessing that the uh, the Belfast radar pushed him out. Moss, the enemy destroyer Moss, he, he went down there at the A cap. He's been sunk. Sims is going to push around the corner. haida has got great guns. Um, only got six of them. Uh, I would compare it to Cossack. The Haida guns actually do a little bit more damage. I think it's about 200 more damage that the HE can do, but only six barrels rather than eight. And it also has, as you can see there, it's got the rolling smoke. So as long as you stay at one quarter speed, you can carry your smoke with you. And it just keeps putting out puff after puff of smoke, and you can move around inside of it and maneuver and do your best not to get citadel. Now you can see in reverse, and I've run into this myself occasionally, in reverse, if you're not careful, you'll reverse right out of your smoke. Now it looks like its smoke has just stopped. There are the torpedoes from the Sims. You can see that they are very slow. Broadside sent up. Uh, sent up's a really, really pretty tanky battleship, you know, like most of the Russian battleship line, but if you catch your broadside, eh, it wasn't quite as good as I'd hoped. Oof, those torps were close. Well, taking a look at the the big board, the good guys have a fairly commanding lead, roughly 150 points at this time. A one-ship advantage. I don't think Atlanta's going to live very much longer. It's 
got the Sharn Horse right there, and, and at that range, even with Sharn Horse dispersion, I think that Atlanta's gonna get blapped. Yeah, he did. Another shot on Sinop as Alf moves forward. Maybe we pick up a Citadel on Sinop this time. That'd be a, that'd be a really new welcome thing. No, didn't land even one. That's too bad. Okay, Sharn Horse is pushing up. Is he going to come this way? Or is he going to head over there and beat up on the Strasbourg and the Ryujo? Let's see. Got a Leon dead ahead that's squaring off for the friendly Sharn Horse. Haida, I'm not sure what Haida's doing. Why he's down there. Now it looks like he's going to run behind Alf. Maybe he's going to try and catch the Sharn Horse if he comes through this gap. Now, Hyder does not have a lot of torpedoes, but at close range with 32,000 on the Sharn Horse. Yeah, might be able to do the job while he's throwing them out. Looks like single fire file there. Let's hope he lands them all. Secondaries are firing on the Krakiolo. Alf is pushing forward. So he's going to try and get a broadside shot on the Sharni. Nice shot. Sharn Horse, like most German battleships, pretty tough to Citadel, especially up close, but um, still pretty decent damage. Now we have to watch the Sharn Horse to see whether he's going to try and push into torpedo range. Where he's at right now, he's not going to get burned down by the Haida, who's sitting in smoke. Oop! If this shot is placed well, this is it for Belfast. pushes toward Haida, he's going to put himself in a position of being able to get the torpedoes thrown out this way, but the range is not great, so if Alf keeps running forward like this, he might outrun him if they come this way. Sharn Horse is angling. And Alf does enough damage with the main guns that a fire is able to finish off the Sharn. So, this is looking pretty good for the good guys. They've got a 5 ship to 3 advantage, commanding points lead. Each team has uh, one cap. Strasbourg and Sinop, well, they ran each other. Fairly even trade there. I uh, wasn't really watching the hit points that each ship had, but... I think this is all over but the shouting now. Good guys have got one really banged up ship and a uh, ranger that's got about half of its hit points and counting. Another bench of torpedoes. I think Alpha is probably going to be able to run this. Be close. Yep. Well, this is going to be a short game. There's, there's no way this is going to go the full 20 minutes. Now secondaries are firing on the Sims. Might only take one hit. Sims running into the Shiratsuyu and the Haida, and Haida manages to finish him off. Well, I would say the good guys have this one firmly in the bag. Great game, Al. Appreciate you sending the replay file. Just hoping that you finish off the range with this next falling. Those of you joining me here, really appreciate it. Thanks for spending a little time with me. If you've got any questions or comments, I'd love to see them below, and I'll see you next time.